हाउ एक्साइटिंग दिस इज एक छत के नीचे इतने सारे लोगों से मुलाकात हो रही है डिफरेंट पीपल फ्रॉम डिफरेंट इरेनास सो आई एम सो ऑनर्ड दैट आई गेट टू स्टैंड योर राइट इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू शिवर कर रही हो थोड़ा सा आई होप आई लास्ट द राइट क्वेश्चन डू यू थिंक देर आर एनी राइट और रॉन्ग क्वेश्चन वेन क्वेश्चन आर आज only the answers are right or wrong the questions are never right or wrong all right so uh, let me ask you about the first book that you written 2003 you know when we generally jab pehli baar koi cheez likhte hain karte hain poochte hain thodi ghabrahat hoti hai you know any memories from that book yes uh, that was a novel it is called uh, we want lovers, lovers like that yes and it's still in print i'm glad to say almost 20 years later uh bahut ghabrahat hoti hai because uh, I had written things earlier. I had written articles. I was a semi-professional journalist, I would say, because I was used to write from student days. But of course, when you actually put out a novel, and particularly your first novel, then you're very worried about the reception right. and what people are going to say and what people are going to think. Right. And a lot of people think this book is about you. Right. So that's always a question. People used to ask you also, say, "Oh, I'm sorry, this <laughs> happened to you. I'm sorry that happened to you. Right. Are you all right now?" I said, "Ha, huh, Baba, I am all right. This is my character, you know." So it was great fun. I loved that book myself, and. Uh, uh i think people liked it uh, a lot they definitely loved it they no loved it they <laughs> loved it they well put well put okay. especially since the lovers were not like that exactly <laughs> so now if if we talk about the love of today's time and love of 2003 in one sentence mm-hmm. how different is it you know love is eternal i don't think love changes okay you know the expressions of love the uh, communication of love the modes of communication of love may change but i don't think love changes so i i hope it's still the same uh the writing has changed from then to now mine i hope so because writing must evolve writing evolves my other books follow different genres yes i went on to short stories i went on to history i came back to the novel i wrote travel logs i wrote columns uh i did translations from persian and punjabi and um, so it's been every book has been a great learning experience and uh, uh, and the writing in walls evolves because you use the more you read the more you travel the more you think the more you learn the more you learn and the more you, you know you some things don't change in your writing you keep returning back to some roots uh, some not just roots you know to some descriptions to some visions to some inspirations right. some places a way of looking at people a way of looking at things those things may not change but some of it does change so your next book uh, when we were having a conversation behind the scenes you said your recommendation will be your next book <laughs> what is it about well my next book is a novel okay. uh, it's a novel uh, about punjab uh, in the early 20th century right. it's centered around jallianwala bag okay oh wow. uh, and but it does talk about a lot of other things that were happening in punjab you know the gadar movement uh people coming soldiers coming back from the first world war the freedom movement jallianwala bag so it it brings in a lot of uh, historical trends that were prevalent there it's going to be called crimson spring okay and it's hopefully it'll be out this summer 